Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. Welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here for your reading. Today we're going to be looking at who is coming towards you. So this is for anyone looking for new love. If you're single or you want to confirm the person that you've recently met is this person, we are going to be confirming that for you today. So before I begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be amazing. If anyone out there was after a private reading, please email me. Um, they are subject to availability, so it just depends how busy I am. Um, but I'd love to do a reading for you, so please be in touch. Um, let's have a look at this and see who is this person that's coming in for you, fire signs. Here is Sag. Okay. okay, we've got strength. Okay, strong Leo, maybe. Oh, that's coming through nine of ones. Okay. We've got a cancer here as well, so some of you might be connecting with a cancer. Or this person is under the sign. They're very rare. This is your unicorn. This is someone that you've been... Look, they're a real catch. That's what I'm getting with fire signs. You're going to be... You're going to be happy. The universe is bringing this person towards you. The universal forces are at work. Okay, Queen of Wands again. I'm getting in. Leo, you've got the Queen of Wands and the Strength card. So I feel like... Uh, I feel like it could be a Leo. Let's move this. That's better. I feel like it could be a Leo who's coming up. Okay, definitely someone who I see taking the initiative to pursue you. So this is someone who's going to be chasing you. They're about to start chasing, start showing how interested they are. Um, but once they meet you, um, it's really going to connect really going to connect from there so the universe is bringing this person to you and i can see this portal here so i almost feel like this person is from another world um now this is something you don't normally go for and i think it's a new kind of experience um that's going to lead you to this person so it's stepping out of your comfort zone so it could be like uh going to a jazz bar uh, or it could be like taking a spin class. It could be like going to the library, doing something you don't normally do that's outside of your usual routine because they belong to another world. Their interests are very different to yours. So it's you, you know, doing something that's very rare for you, but it's going to lead you to this rare person. And I feel like that's how the universe has orchestrated the both of you to connect and to meet. But they are very mag they, they're bringing a very magical energy so I feel like this person is very mesmerizing they're very inspirational anyone they meet people are just in awe of this person I don't know if it's their looks it's their energy they have something about them and this is what's going to draw you in the will of fortune is here which is telling me the time of watching this reading is very likely going to be the time just before or just after that you're going to meet this person. This is about divine timing, divine intervention. You've got the universe on your side here. The universe is, is, is fighting for the two of you to be together. The Two of Swords tells me there might be someone else in your life and this person pops up. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are in a relationship around the time uh, when this person comes in. You know, you have that Four of Cups. Um, so I feel like once you meet this person, you're going to have a huge epiphany about them. Now, the Four of Wands is here. It's telling me this person may be married. Okay, there could be some some kind of uncertainty here with the Two of Swords and the Four of Wands. It's the marriage card. It's the relationship card. Or it could be like this person is just coming off a marriage, like um, a broken engagement or they're still legally married but they're separated with their person marriage is around them or it's very important to them and it's something that they're going to express to you fairly soon um fairly soon after you meet i feel uh 
And I feel like they're coming from a history of being betrayed. So their last relationship, I feel like they were hurt quite badly. You know, we've got the Ten of Swords here. It might have been an air sign that has hurt them. Um, and it's like they'll have the strength again to get back out there, get into the dating scene. It's like if they're coming off that, they're going to meet you and suddenly they're going to find the strength to be like, I want love again. I'm ready for this. You're going to make them ready for these things is what I'm seeing. So, okay, I feel like emotionally this person could be very kind and very caring. I feel like they'll want to look after you. They're going to be super attractive. Um, I feel like they've got all these like beautiful contours of very smooth mountains. There's something very soft and like almost like very smooth complexion, a soft spoken voice. It's almost like angelic. Um, they could have long hair, uh, very light hair is what I'm getting. Um, there might be some instances where if it's a, for example, the male here is dark haired, dark hair and it's short are the females, the blonde hair and longer, you know, you've got that dark female here, so long cascading locks, um, but a very feminine quality is what I'm seeing to this person. Uh, they're big on going to the gym or working out, I feel like appearance is quite important to this person, and I get inspiration, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're in a role where they sort of motivate others. So, like if they're a trainer, if they're a motivational speaker, if they are a manager, there's, they're good at inspiring people, and they could do that professionally or creatively. And like I said, it's just a joy to be around this person. Um, yeah, you're really going to be inspired by them. That's nice. That's nice to see. Uh, they may have a pet. We've got a little kitty cat here, so they may have um, they may have a pet here. We've got a dog down here as well. So, um, they're an animal lover. You know, you've got the horses. They might have grown up with horses. Maybe they like horse riding. Um, but if they own an animal, it shows a very nurturing. It's reflective of that. Like they have a very nurturing, kind side to them. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this person wants kids as well. Um, if they want kids fairly soon after you meet, even. Absolutely. But yeah, I think they're going to introduce you to new interests. New interests and new hobbies. And I kind of want to say you need to take a chance on this person because they'll be there. They'll chase you. And I kind of see you turning this person down because they might not have the look you want or the interests that you want or they don't do things a certain type of way that you like. But to be honest, I think it's more to do with you needing to take a chance. And I feel like that's why the universe is giving you this connection and is giving you this person. There's huge marriage potential. We've got the engagement card, the marriage card. This is the card of like the relationship with the four of ones. So this is someone who will want to be quite uh, exclusive fairly soon. I don't feel like this person wants to wait. I don't, I don't think they're, you know, I... I do feel like they've got fire energy. I wouldn't be surprised if they're a balance of fire and water, but I, I don't think they want to wait. They have that impatient streak that you have, fire signs, okay? And this is where you're going to connect. This is where you're going to gel. You'll want things at the same time. So I feel like, you know, when you see something you like, you go after it, fire signs, but this is what this person is doing for you. I think you're going to enjoy the attention, and, you know, why not? Um, but take, take a chance. You know, give it a try. It doesn't mean you have to go off and marry them, but it might really open your eyes here um, to something new. It might open your eyes, but like I said, there could be an instance where some of you will betray your other person to be with this one, and, you know, I don't, I wouldn't advocate for that. It's not a good energy to be in. It brings negative energy to your other person. And it's not a good foundation. It's not a solid foundation, a trustworthy foundation to start this new connection. So, I mean, of course, it's easier said than done. But I would encourage you to either halt that other connection, go on a break so you can explore this or break it off. You know, at the end of the day, it's your choice. But I feel like I wouldn't advise you start off this on a betrayal like energy because that ten of swords the two of swords you know that's there's an opportunity for betrayal here um it might be you you might take that road again that's your choice but i feel like this person could be something 
uh, really serious. It could be someone that's really serious and someone that we want to offer you um, a lot more. So, you know, and, and the chariot is telling me here, I see you falling in love with this person. I see them falling for you. It's a deep bond. We've got this, this um, heavily moon, heavy moon energy. Um, we've got the pyramid. So I feel like a, a solid foundation is very important here. So I feel like the beginning stages of this connection will mean a lot to how the future goes between the both of you. Um, Okay, so I feel like this person could be your age or older, actually. Am I, uh, they may be older than you. Um, could be by maybe four, four months, uh, four years, 14 months. I don't think they'll be... Yeah, I don't think they'll be too much older. I'm not seeing too much of an age gap. But I do see, like, the two worlds coming together, so... So they're bringing something very different, um, something very different to your life. I feel like this person is also very lucky. They've got lucky stars. They've got luck next to them. And they're big on manifestation. There's a spirituality about them. Um, so they could be really into like things like the law of attraction and visualization. And um, they sort of know all the all this like inspirational um, kind of things like they're into that that's what they enjoy um, and you're, they're going to introduce you to that I almost feel like you could have a completely different life with this person one that you had sort of never really envisioned for yourself so I mean that's kind of exciting for you fire signs to know that so much could happen um, uh, between you and them um, but the Nine of Swords is telling me at times they rush things. They they may have an anxious attachment to you. So they might sort of uh, want things sooner than you even. Or there might be times where they sort of like um, put a bit of pressure on things here. Because the Nine of Swords, you know, they jump to conclusions at times. So it could be that this person jumps to conclusions. You know, they could be quite... Um, reactive rather than responsive so i think you know you might see some anxious tendencies they might rush to have certain um, conversations with you uh, they might want to rush sort of the process i don't particularly see this person taking things super slow um i actually see them yeah moving moving faster moving faster with you and, and things could move pretty quickly I'm not gonna lie like things their relationship could really um, yeah really really take off um, and I'll talk about marriage like marriage is really important to them getting married being married I wouldn't be surprised if they have been married before um, could also work with married couples you know they might be in a position where they work with couples counseling or they know a lot of married couples or like all their friends are coupled up so maybe that's kind of influencing them as well to sort of go out and find someone um but yeah i feel like a different world something that's outside of what you're used to doing is going to be the thing that leads you to them and for some of you i feel like you might be meeting at a gym um, it could be like physical activity that connects you. So you might be hiking, you might attend a group event, um, a community event, a sporting event, and um, or signing up to a place of uh, meditation or um, a, a fitness place or a spa even. And that's where you connect with this person. But it's almost like it has to be something very different to what you're used to doing. Okay. And they could be, I'm seeing like that, like flexible. Um, they're flexible, they, they, they're they quite active. Yeah. Really, really wonderful energy to them, I feel like. They've got 
it's almost like she's got a feather slash crystal crown here. So I feel like they are blessed with some sort of skill that they use. Now it could be the physical activity thing, it could be the spirituality thing. But there's something here, um, yeah, there's something here that's very uh, spiritual about them. But I get this, this queen energy, right? This crown, this queen energy. So I feel like this person has something that's very um, prized by other people. Like they're privileged in some way. There's a there's a like a privileged energy. You know, maybe they grew up in into money, um, or like they were born into money. They grew up with money. Maybe they were given some wonderful opportunities in their life. Could be what they do now for work. It's like maybe they've met a lot of famous people, or this whatever this is has led them to connect with a lot of people. They've been a lot of privileged. Uh, they've been very privileged, but they're grateful for what they have. There's a lot of gratitude about this person. So. You know, it's someone who appreciates what life has given them. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they've been through some stuff that has made them more appreciative. I'm telling you, I feel like they've been on this whole um, law of attraction, manifestation kind of thing. That's pretty big for them. Um, but it's definitely coming up. This queen energy, like... They're quite outgoing. They are. I don't feel like this person is an introvert. I feel like they're quite uh, expressive. They could have all, They could also have a quite a, uh, an artistic side to them. Like maybe they like photography or painting or drawing. Um, yeah, I feel like they're quite creative. There's a creativity to them that you're also going to really enjoy. And again, I feel like it's maybe creativity and inspiration that are linked together. Um, but you, you, you're going to be very physically attracted, and I see that the two of you will really, really get on, okay? Really get on, especially physically. I don't feel like there'll ever be a dull moment between the both of you, because I honestly see that you will be crazy about this person, and they're going to be crazy about you. But they'll be chasing you. I don't think it's someone you know. I think it's someone new. You haven't rejected this person. You haven't encountered them as yet. Um... You will soon know this, this portal um, is opening up. So it's telling me, and with that will of fortune, it's telling me that the universe is bringing you to this person closer and closer. And things are moving on an energetic level to align the both of you together. So it's very exciting. I'm going to leave it there, though. So thank you again, everyone, for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed this reading, please leave behind a like. And you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love you to join my little growing YouTube family. Otherwise, I'm sure I'll catch you all very, very soon. So I just wanted to say thank you again for being with me um, and popping over to the channel. Really appreciate it, everyone. Um, all the best and bye.